Over the past few years, Warner Brothers has seemingly done everything in their power to try to destroy the DCEU. And the report that's now out there about Henry Cavill's Superman seems insane. Seems like why would anybody possibly do this? But then you realize this would go right along with what Warner Brothers has been telling us they want to do for years. Henry Cavill's Superman said to be replaced by Supergirl in DCEU reboot. A new rumor offers that Sasha Calais will be the last survivor of Krypton and that Cavill is done as the Man of Steel. Now, this is like the fifth, sixth, or seventh time that we've heard rumors about Henry Cavill being done, that Henry Cavill's not coming back, all these things. And this all revolves around the Flash movie. The Flash movie, which obviously stars Ezra Miller as the Flash, who's been a lot of bad PR for them lately, getting into fights in bars, getting arrested, then getting restraining orders after threatening to kill someone. That's who Ezra Miller is. But we also heard from the beginning, oh, well, Ben Affleck's Batman's going to die in this. Oh, well, maybe now not so much. The scooping game for DC is always iffy, to say the least. But this specific rumor kind of lines up with everything they've done with Henry Cavill's Superman. The last two times Superman has appeared in at least mainline DCEU, not counting Zack Snyder's Justice League, was in the Shazam appearance when they cut off his head so you couldn't see that it as actually wasn't Henry Cavill. And then at the end of Peacemaker, when he was in a shadow, you couldn't see his face. That's how much DC cares about Henry Cavill. So let's continue. A new rumor offers that Henry Cavill Superman will be replaced by the Sasha Calais Supergirl in what sounds like a retcon of the DCEU as well as a reboot. Various rumors over the years, it's been that long, have offered that Henry Cavill is out as Superman and Deadline reported it in 2018 about the Supergirl movie that Supergirl could be used to reboot Superman as the site reported. It's unclear whether Superman will appear in this, but if the rumors are true, Warner Brothers and DC are looking to create a template for new Superman movies. This would seem a likely place to hatch a new persona. Now, according to Screen Geek, the plan in place is to do just that. As it's claimed, Sasha Kaye, I, I, I don't know if it's Kaye or Kaye, I'm going to say Kaye because it's hard to say it the right way, is actually playing Supergirl Cara Danvers and not Cyril or even Lara Lane Kent as some fans theorize, which means she is the cousin of Superman. Now, the reason that it's been speculated that she's not is because obviously Sasha Kaye does not look anything like Cara Danvers does not look anything like the Supergirl that we are all so accustomed to. That's why a lot of these other things were guessed, but it's not like DC in over the past few movies has been necessarily devoted to making sure a character looks like the other character. They're not afraid of doing race swaps. They're not afraid of doing anything. This is a new DC. This is a DC that's focused on identity politics, which is also why it wouldn't be a surprise if they wanted to erase Henry Cavill and replace him in the timeline with Supergirl. According to the rumor, the plan is to change things and have Sasha Calais Supergirl be the last survivor of Krypton and that in the new rebooted timeline uh, that would take place either in or after the Flash, Zod would kill Henry Cavill Superman when he's a baby on Krypton. So I guess that does bring the question, is he killing him? Does the Codex... Is the Codex still with kal at that point? I don't know. I'm sure they haven't thought that far ahead if this rumor is even true. And it points out here that they have said that, you know, Zod and Feora are, should feature in The Flash. So maybe that's where this is at. The Sasha Calais Supergirl suit also happens to look a lot like Henry Cavill's suit. It absolutely does. It 100% does. Now, Again, this is a DCEU scooping rumor, which if you look throughout the history, you can find, you know, a dozen different YouTube channels and websites all talking about things that directly contradict with each other in terms of scooping. The reason this one caught my interest is because it makes sense. The way that they've treated Henry Cavill's Superman, the fact that you have two separate black Superman uh, projects in development right now, one a race swap Clark Kent and another one a Val Zod, but yet you don't have anything for Henry Cavill's Superman laid out is nuts to me. It's obvious that the Snyderverse fans are still very much out there and very vocally advocating for it to be restored. I think after Zack Snyder's Justice League and a couple other of these movies that have come out, more and more people are probably coming around to that. You saw fan voting won the Oscar for fan moment of the year, you know, with Flash entering the Speed Force in Zack Snyder's Justice League. With all that being said, 
I don't know if anybody knows what's going on, what the future holds at Warner Brothers. I don't know if the directors of these movies do. I don't know if the people, the actors themselves, have any idea what's going to come next, what rewrite might come next, how they might change their minds, because they have handled this property so terribly over the past several years, continuing to reverse course and, you know, misstep and mismanage everything. It's terrible, which is why something like this actually makes a lot of sense. This does sound like something that the people at Warner Brothers would do. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.